All right, let's uh, see if I trust my new engine stand. I'm kind of afraid. I'm scared. I'm kind of afraid. It's making scary noises. I let it down. Okay. I guess one of them isn't it. Oh, what the heck? That doesn't mean make me. Whatever. Whatever. You guys just saw that. Well, it's about disassembled. I'm gonna pull the timing and then we're going to pull the head. And we've gotta pull the oil pan as well. I'm not really too excited about flipping the engine over because there's still oil that's in it and I don't feel like letting it hit the ground even though, you know, I just cleaned, I just cleaned the garage and uh, yeah, now there's more oil on the floor. I'm so excited. It stopped recording, so I kind of lost the footage, but, you know, you kind of get the point. Everything is sitting on the ground now. But, uh, so next we're going to pull the covers, and then we're going to pull the head. Uh, apparently, my camera only records at 10 minutes at a time, so uh, you probably just missed me pulling the head off. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so that yeah, looks like everything is pretty decent. Uh, my pistons seem to be the exact same way they were whenever I uh, cleaned them up last time, simply because I was on E85. But uh, I think there might be a little bit of carbon buildup because I did run uh, 91 for just a little bit there. Uh, head gasket looks good. This is the OEM gasket. I mean, I wouldn't expect one of these things to go bad. They're like extremely thick Yep, looks good Probably use it again if I'm being honest Don't listen to me. Don't even listen to what I just said because that's never ever a thing. You never do that ever ever
I ran out of space, so uh, you're going to miss some things. There's a lot of stuff you're going to miss, but uh, you kind of get the picture. I've got the baffle pan completely removed. This is now just a short block. So uh, the bottom end actually looks very good. There's nothing loose, uh, or there's no metal in the oil pan. I hope you guys enjoyed part three of this. In the next part, we're going to do the 2JZ, and uh, we're going to do some uh, checking out on the the cylinder head and some other stuff and we're going to start assembling things as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this hit the like button if you liked it subscribe if you're new and comment let me know what you think and i'll catch you guys in the next part